Okay, this story is about, uh, well, I think I should preface this part of the story by saying that I'm an, I'm an actor, I'm one of those out-of-work actors, and, for, and it took me about five years to get anything at all as an actor. But the first thing I ever got, uh, you know, paid-wise, was a public service announcement, and the public service announcement was about safe sex within the gay community. <laughs> And the whole premise of this public service announcement was that there's a bunch of guys, like 12 guys, talking about the nicknames of their penises. <laughs> yes. So it was a little weird. And then everybody tosses out their, their, their nicknames, and at the end of the thing they go, call it what you want, just play safe. <laughs> so, you know, the audition process was a little weird, right? First of all, I arrived there, and everybody that's auditioning is gay. And I'm not. So I'm, I'm thinking my agent probably told them that I'm, that I'm gay. Because he's desperate that I work, right? Because I haven't made him any money whatsoever. So I, I go, I call my agent, I'm like, did you tell him I'm gay? And he goes, do you want the part or not? I was like, okay, okay, I got you, right, got him. We're, right, we're ready to go. So we go, I go in there, and first thing I notice is that there's a blackboard and it has a lot of dick dick names. Just in case you don't want to use your own, or you don't know anything. It says stuff like Captain Howie. Action Jackson, Slim Jim and the Twins, Cyclops, you know? And I'm just like, I'm not feeling any of these names, right? So I'm not like, alright, I'm gonna go in and use the real nickname on my dick, alright? So I walk in there, and they, there was like five or six people in there, and they're like, hi Andy, this is really easy, we're just gonna act like we're interviewing you on the street, we're just gonna ask you right off the bat what's the nickname of your penis. I'm like, okay, let's, let's just do this. So the camera's there, and they're like, alright Andy, so what's the nickname of your penis? And I look into the camera and I go, Señor Fantástico. <laughs> the thing is, I'm from Chile, right? And it's the Spanish version of Mr. Fantastic, and I named him after Mr. Fantastic of the Fantastic Four, right? Because he was a superhero. Because he stretches. Yeah, exactly, yeah. He stretches up to great lengths when needed. Yet he can fit into the smallest of places. Okay, that's gross. All right, whatever. <laughs> so anyways, I go, so you're fantastic. So then it got a little creepy. Then it got a little creepy. This French guy gets up, and he makes me say a bunch of things in French, because apparently they want a virgin in French so that the whole country can see me do this. And he makes me say stuff like, uh, les canons, les babous. A babous apparently is when a dog drools, and I was just gross telling him, like, I'm not doing that. And then he goes, les saucisses, can you do say les saucisses? And that's the sausage, right? I got that one. I was like, oh, okay, I can do that one. So I look into the camera, they're like, all right, so Andy, what's the nickname of your penis? And I look and I go, les saucisses. And it's the only audition I've ever walked out of in my life where I was like, I hope I don't get that fucking commercial. <laughs> but sure enough, two hours later, I get the call, like, congratulations! You're going to be saying the nickname of your penis for the whole country. <laughs> Anyway, so I show up at the, at the, to shoot this thing, and there's a, they were like, I had a trailer, which was kind of cool, right? So they're like, all right, Andy, there's your trailer. I'm like, sweet, I got a trailer. So I'm walking in, they're like, yeah, you're sharing it with three other guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I, you know, I, 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 you know, I remember from the audition that everybody was gay, right? And I had to let them know that I wasn't without, you know, coming off as, you know, offensive, right? So I had to be clever. So I walk in there, and they're like, oh, hey, how's it going, guy? And I was like, hey, nice to meet you, man. I was like, yeah, sorry I was late. I had sex with my girlfriend, man. She's <laughs> got this killer body, just, oh. God, I love women. <laughs> and they're like, all right, you're straight, we get it, all right. And then, <laughs> this guy comes in with a cake. And he's like, hey guys, do you mind if I leave my cake in here? And I'm like, hey, I'm going to eat that cake. And he goes, oh, don't. It's, I made it for my boyfriend. It's his birthday. And all the other gay guys in the trailer go, aww. I wish my boyfriend would make me a cake. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> that part always kills me. <laughs> Anyways, you guys can check this out. There's a website called uh, www.gaymanplaysafe.com. <laughs> And there's a version in English and in French, and in both, I say Senor Fantastico. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>